Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. This is a recording of a telephone call between a scammer and me pretending to be a victim. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hello, hi. My name is David Lewis. I am calling with the of America Account Verification Department. How are you doing today, man? Oh, uh, okay. How are you? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. This phone call is being recorded and monitored for high quality purposes. The reason that we're calling today, man, is because that yesterday evening there was a new checking account that was open with Bank of America and this phone number was attached to it. So that's why we're calling to verify. Were you the one that opened that checking account with Bank of America yesterday evening, man? Uh, no, I, I, don't, I didn't open a new account. You did not open a new account with us yesterday no. evening, man. No, alright, man. I will go ahead and mark this account as a fraudulent account. Did you not give anyone permission or consent to do so? Uh, no, no. I do see that there are three transactions that are pending and scheduled to be released today, going out to an individual named Michael Moore through Zell. Where would you want that auto as the transaction to that individual named Michael Moore? No, I don't know anybody named Michael Moore. Okay, you don't know who that person is. No. Now, for the recording, all right, ma'am, thank you. For the recording, since you mentioned that you was not the one who created that account with us yesterday evening, and you did not give anyone permission to do so, now I will go ahead and close out that account for you, and also I will transfer you over to this uh, for the department. We got this little transaction to help you cancel them. Now, before I transfer you over, ma'am, I'm paying any... But you're, I, it's like I can't hear you anymore. What? What about now? Can you hear me better now? Yeah. All right, ma'am. So now, I will go ahead and close out the forging account that was opened yesterday evening, and I will transfer you over to the Zelfa department to help you cancel the transaction also since you was not the one who posted them. Before I transfer you over, grab a pen and a piece of paper so I can provide to you with the cancellation number and the three amounts that need to be canceled, ma'am. Once, okay. once you have a pen and a piece of paper, let me know. Hold on one second. <coughs> Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm still here with you, ma'am. Yes, I'm ready. All right, ma'am. The C has a Charlie. C has a Charlie. L has a Larry. C C L seven seven three eight two seven seven four nine five. This is the cancellation number of the four gen account that I just closed out for you. And the first amount that is pending is scheduled to be released to that individual named Michael Moore. Is for four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Please write it down also. Michael Moore. And, and four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah. Well, yes, that's the first amount. And the second one is for nine hundred and ninety eight dollars. Nine hundred and ninety eight. Okay. And the third one is and the third one is for one thousand and two hundred dollars. Okay. Well where did the money come from? Okay, those those money will be coming out from your checking account. They are all being posted through Shell. Somebody had has proof your phone number and link it with the third party application that name Zell and they had posted transactions. So uh -huh. those transactions so those transactions will be coming out from any checking account that link with this phone number because they're being posted through Zell. Zell is a third party app that's embedded into major bank and credit unions. For example, if you have any checking account that link with this phone number if you have Chase, if you have City Bank, well, I have Bank, Bank of America. You have Bank of America. Okay, those those transactions will be coming out from your from that from that checking account because that person Bank of America got there embedded into it. So now I will transfer you over to the Zell for department so they can help you cancel the transaction. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Bear with me one moment while I transfer your comment. Please hold. Thank you very much for holding. I do apologize for the long wait on hold. My name is Austin James. I'm with the Zell Fraud Department. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great, ma'am. Thank you very much for asking. Bank of America transferred a call to the Zell Fraud Department regarding payments that have been canceled within Zell. Um, did they provide you with a cancellation by a number by any chance, ma'am? Uh, yes. Uh, C C L seven. Seven three eight two seven seven four nine five. 
thank you, ma'am. I do see here there are three transactions. Matter of fact, that is scheduled to release to Zell. Going to a Michael Moore. Do you know that individual, ma'am? No, I don't. Okay. Zell, ma'am, is embedded into 98% of banks and federal credit unions. So if you happen to have any account that has Zell in your phone number, it's tied to that account. Whoever is Michael Moore may have access to have those funds to be from whatever account you have to have Zell. Have you ever used Zell before or canceled any payment within Zell mail? Um, I, I have used Zell before. I don't use it often. Okay, ma'am. You know, within our platform, Zell mail, normally we send you a notification code through text um, to make sure that it's you, and we have to make sure that your phone number is not being compromised by anyone, okay? Meaning, ma'am, due to the fact um, we gotta make, we're going to send you a cancellation code to your cellular phone, you're going to simply enter the code within the Zelle to cancel the transaction. And please do not repeat any codes over the phone, okay, ma'am? Uh, uh, so you need to do what now? Yeah. Okay. We have to, since Zelle is embedded into 98% of banks and federal credit unions, and your banking app already has Zelle, and you, as you are familiar with Zelle, you know, it's just a phone number or email. Yeah. Someone could register with Zelle. So we have to make sure that your number, your phone number is not being compromised or being spoofed by someone. And they, they are receiving notifications to approve or disapprove any transactions. What we're going to do here, ma'am, is make sure to cancel the transaction through Zelle, okay? And as well, and place a AAA protection within your Zelle platform for you, okay, ma'am? Okay. To do so, ma'am. You will need to log in into your online account, go under Pay and Transfer. You will see where it says Zelle. As you log in, do not repeat no personal information whatsoever regarding your online account. Simply log into your online banking app and go locate Zelle, please, okay? We're going to add Zelle Cancellation Department to so cancel the transactions. Okay, you need me to log in right now? Yes, ma'am, because those payments are scheduled to be released to whoever Michael Moore is any time now. Your banking app already has Zelle, so we have to make sure that you are the only one that's receiving authorization code to approve or disapprove any transaction through Zelle, okay? Okay. As you log in, ma'am, make sure, yeah, as you log in, please, ma'am, do not repeat any personal information regarding your online account. Some customers fail to do so. They just, oh, my balance is this. Don't do that because the phone call will automatically hang up and we have to start this all over, okay? Just log in and go to the Zelle, please, okay? Oh, okay. No personal information, do not repeat. Don't repeat nothing personal. Okay. Just go to the Zelle, please. Thank All you. All right, hold on. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Do you hear? Do you hear a lot of background noises? Uh, no. Okay, perfect. Just making sure. I had a last customer say so she told me she had some background noises. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Once you're in the Zelle, just click where it says send money with Zelle. You're going to reach where it says send a request or split. Let me know once you're there, please. Okay. Okay, up there. Okay, what is it? What is the option it shows on the screen in front of you? To send the request. Send, yeah. Select the op Select the option that says send money with Zelle. After selecting that option, it's gonna say add a recipient. We're gonna add Zelle cancellation department. Okay. Uh, okay. After clicking send, what option do you see on the screen now? Well, I didn't click send. Click send. After clicking send, what does it say, ma'am? Well, I'm not going to send you money. Absolutely not, ma'am. You're not going to send the Zelle department money, ma'am. All we're doing is canceling the transaction. The platform is named Send Money with Zelle. When you click the option that says send, ma'am, it's you are adding the Zelle recipient to cancel the transaction. You will not be entering no dollar amount. If you are familiar with Zelle, you will see where it asks you message, memo, or what is it for. Like That's I said, I've only done through. it. I've only done it. I think once. It's been a little while. <laughs> Let me help you then, okay? 
and as well, ma'am, to guarantee the quality of this phone call. Do you see the call ID? What does it say on your call ID? No, it doesn't show at all. On your phone, what does your phone say? This is your 800 number? That's 877. No, it doesn't show. What does it say on your call ID on your phone? Look on your cellular phone. What does it say? I'm not on my cell phone. This is my house phone. Ah, uh, okay. You don't have a call ID on your house phone. Okay. No. To verify the number. That Okay, just to verify the number. Well, I can write it down. Okay. It's 877 what? 337-8357. That's 1877-337-8357. Fifty-seven. Three. If you Google that Three, number, ma'am, you will see that's Bank of America 800 number, ma'am, the far the number. So we could take care of this for you. So basically, click on Send Money with Zelle, select Send, then it's going to ask you to add a recipient or add new Zelle contact. Well, should and I hang up and call contact. you back on that number to verify it? Or? No, 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 no. To verify, you, could, you have Google? Do you have Google? Place the number on Google. It'll be better for you, okay? Uh -huh. Do you have Google, ma'am? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Place that number on Google, okay? Well, right now. The number that... No, you don't have to. It's just for you to build the quality of the call to make sure that you're not being scammed and you're not sending no money to the individual. So that is why I want you to Google the number and build the quality of this phone call, okay? So we could proceed on helping you cancel these three transactions, okay, ma'am? And we're going to uh, send yeah. you a code to your phone. It's going to say cancel the transaction. The code you receive, don't repeat it, okay? You will simply enter with the Zelle and hit submit. It will cancel the transactions, okay, ma'am? Click, click on send money with Zelle. What does it say next? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think I'm some kind of fool? Do I think you're some kind of fool? What yes. do you mean? Do you try to get me to send you money on Zelle? I ain't no idiot. Absolutely not. You're Absolutely a thief. Not. I will not. You're a thief. Ma'am, one second, ma'am. What did you say? You're a thief. You're a scammer. You think I'm stupid? Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I'm so glad you're here. Please like and subscribe so I can keep this channel going. See you next time.